Today we're going to be repairing a lightsaber. This is not something I typically do for customers, but it seemed like an easy fix, so I decided I'd give it a shot. From what he tells me, the NeoPixel doesn't light up anymore, everything else works fine, so my guess is there's a broken wire. And a quick side note, if I sound a bit different, it's because I'm using a new microphone. I'm trying to make my setup a little bit more professional, so this is my first video where I get to try it out. Let me know what you think. So the first step of this process is to take everything apart to see if I can find what's wrong with it. Here you can see me trying to figure out how to take this apart. I'm trying to pull it out the back, but that wasn't the right way. So I found out you just go underneath the clamp card and you've got a couple screws there. And then you have to take out the button, which allows you to take the clamp out completely. There we go. And then you turn it around and you've got another screw holding in the chassis. After you take that out, you can just take out the entire chassis from the other sections. Now I just give it a little test to see what works. And now let's have a look at the insides. The speaker looks to be wired up properly. I've never worked with that soundboard before, but all the solder points look fine. It's these wires that concern me. And if we have a look at the emitter, this is where the problem lies. The positive wire is completely snapped off. So I'm going to start with the positive wire in the chassis. There's nothing wrong with it exactly, but it was pretty frayed and pinched, so it's at risk of breaking pretty soon. I want to make sure that won't happen, so I just cut out the frayed part and replaced it with my own wire. Then protected it with heat shrink, of course. And once that's done, I put everything back together, and then I test to make sure I didn't break anything along the way. And now I pretty much do the same thing for the emitter positive wire that I did for the chassis positive wire. And with that, everything should be repaired. Now it's time to put the hilt back together. Now we put the blade in and see if it all works. With that, the lightsaber is complete. Now it's time to send it on back to its owner. Hope you guys liked the video and learned a little bit on how to fix your own lightsaber.